My name's Alex, and I like rocks. That's perfect. Okay. okay. That's where we gotta that's be. The, we that's gotta the level I gotta be on. Our energy's gotta yeah, be. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. Pilates. Yes. <laughs> Pilates. Pilates. Most people Let's do say, this. like, karate or something. I have drank way too much wine and been with too many white girls today. <laughs> I got excited about Pilates. Uh, what even is Pilates? Uh, it's quite interesting, Krista. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of how to explain Pilates. It's like a light workout. I think, yeah. I think it's... It's, it's like a light acrobatic workout. Way easier than yoga. Yeah. So that you just stay Old people spelt. can do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old people can do it. Anybody can do it. Ageism. <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, yeah. So, welcome back. This is The Sense. I'm Krista. I'm Alex. Thank you for coming. Uh, it's been quite the weeks. I don't know how long. We're not going to talk we're about doing, it. We're doing good, I think. Like, yeah, we're doing It's great. been two weeks since our last podcast, and here we are again, Has it coming been, to you. Has it been two? Yes. Okay. Two. We're, like it's definitely been two. It's been two weeks. Okay. <laughs> I just ripped off my <laughs> wristband from today's events that I what was took your event? I went to Spring Barrel. It's wine tasting in Eastern Washington, mm-hmm. in Tri Cities, and mm-hmm. Prosser area. Mm-hmm. I went with a big group of girls, and we went from winery to winery, trying different wines. And I did not get shwasted. Which is quite the goal for it's, the group of people yeah. you had. Also, they're like each winery you go to, they're like, oh. You're going to have 10 tastings at this winery. And it's like, what? <laughs> That's so much wine. I- I'm not going to be able to walk out of here. <laughs> but I did. Well, you know, people spit it out and stuff. Kind of like... I know people like that. It's fine. It is. I don't know why I did that. (laughs) People were probably doing that there. They were. (laughs) I was just like, well, I'll I'll drink that. No, I'll drink that. Not not today. Wait, 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 wait. Don't spit that out. Spit that in my mouth. Don't worry about it. Give me your wine. (laughs) Nasty. That was a gross scenario, but... And I don't do that. You know, just so our listeners know. I'm just kidding. I don't. Our listener. I don't either. Just... (laughs) Krista, get rid of those air quotes. <laughs> Sorry. Just kidding. Um, yeah, so that's what I did today, and it's been a long day, but it's been a good day. What'd you do today, Krista? I slept a lot. So. I slept. <laughs> well, you know how it is. It's good. Yeah. Last weekend, I had to work. I worked many hours in another store, and um, the weekend before that, I... Was I in Portland then? Yes. Yes. Okay. Or not. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Because uh, this weekend was relaxy time weekend for me. I got a lot of watching shows done, which was crazy. <laughs> what like, shows are you watching right now? I watched... Um, oh, I watched the entirety of Wild Wild Country. <gasps> the one about the, the, the cult in Oregon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. This happened not too far away from us. Like, I know. towards the Dalles. Yeah. And I've never heard of this before. Well, it was I want to ask somebody who's like the late to uh, late seventies. Yeah. So, well, I mean, early seventies, late seventies. I want to like seventies. Ask somebody who I uh, uh-huh. like. We grew up here, but not mm-hmm. at that time. So I want to ask like my parents or something. Yeah, like, we Do you should. remember about this creepy cult that yeah. was? I didn't finish it, so I, I don't actually know what happens. But it Just, seems getting it's getting weird. You should finish it. Um, and it's really good. It's well documented and it's really well, pro- well produced. Like it kept me into it the entire time, which it's really hard to keep me <laughs> like It's like eight episodes, distracted. isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. And they're each like an hour long and I binged it. I just I love Netflix. All Binging mm-hmm. Thank Netflix. Thank you for your Netflix, yeah, by the way. Thank- oh yeah. <laughs> I recently gave Krista my Netflix password. <laughs> things are getting pretty serious. I, <laughs> I mean, we're committed, guys. <laughs> like we share Netflix. And oh gosh, what else did I watch? Um The Greatest Hoaxes. I don't know. There's a bunch like, of random stuff on there right now, but I love it. Yeah. I've been... Oh, did I talk about the plastic surgery show last time? No. Oh, I've been watching. What is that? I can't remember what it's called exactly, but it's these Australian women that go to Thailand for cosmetic surgery, and it they get all the stuff done in like two weeks, and oh it shows... God. Yeah. It shows them getting it done and their recovery. It's terrible and amazing at the same time. It sounds just terrible. I don't know why I'm so interested in it. <laughs> why is it amazing? What do they do? Is it like it a shows transformation people... they've always wanted? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It like... It's okay. a transformation they've wanted or like it shows them like 
loving their body, or, like they've had insecurities. I know. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm sorry. You should love your body. Anyways. <laughs> I watch it more because I'm like, that's how they do a boob job? What? Oh. Like... That would be the interesting part for me. They call it they call it, it the lollipop technique. Oh. And they take I'm they mean. cut around your nipple and oh, no. they yeah. stuff at your boob, don't they? Uh-huh. Gross. It's crazy. It's a good show. And I forgot what it's called. Sorry. I can't give the recommendation. But it's on there. It's cosmetic surgery in Thailand. That's scary. I know. Nipple trauma freaks me out. Nipple lollipop. Ooh. Ugh. I say nipple trauma freaks me out, but I got some on purpose. So <laughs> I was just thinking that. I was like, do I say that on the podcast? No, nah, it's cool. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Everyone knows now. Whatever. It's Woo. not a big deal. <laughs> so, Anyways. Um, what else? Well, shoot. I was going to tell you. Oh, yeah. So another thing I watched on Netflix was Old Baby, the Maria Bamford special. Oh, I need to and watch that. It's great. And I love it. And I love Maria Bamford. And I tweeted at Maria Bamford something that made me laugh, and it was great advice. Or not great advice. It was like a funny joke that I, like, uh, connected to. But anyways, she liked my tweet. Oh, she so liked exciting. it. I was, and I was like, you have so many subscribers. But you liked you mine. you liked my tweet. And I love that. And, like, all I do on Twitter is just tweet at podcasts. And I always like my stuff, which makes me feel good. But then I look back on everything I like. And they pretty much like everything that anyone ever tweets at them, ever. (laughs) So then I feel less good. But then Ray Bamford liked my tweet, so... Win! Yeah, I liked it. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for you. Uh, Oh, another thing I did yesterday that I've been trying to do for a while, and I haven't told you, but I know you'll be excited about it, was that I downloaded an app called the Insight Timer, and I meditated (gasps) for 10 minutes. Good job! It was really hard. Everybody should meditate, but it is hard. Yeah, I didn't, I thought it was like, oh, well, I mean, if it's going to make me smarter and make me sleep better, like, why not do it? Here we go. Here, we, And then, at, like, the second minute in, I was like, this is the most boring thing in my entire life. <laughs> but have you, it's good for you. I don't know how people go on, like, the meditation retreats, the one, like, the silent retreats where they don't talk. <sighs> have you heard of these? No. People will go and do silent retreats for two weeks. And they're silent the whole time. And you can't talk to anyone. You can't make eye contact. You just have to focus on yourself for two weeks. That sounds like the worst thing ever. I I mean... It would take me a long time to work up to that. I, I'm a quiet person. Not like... Sometimes I like to be quiet and I don't talk a lot. Uh-huh. Um, if I can't talk, then I freak out all of a sudden. Like when I had laryngitis in January and I couldn't talk oh. to my family in Vegas. And I was like... Oh my gosh, I have so much to say. I had to download an app on my phone to talk to my family. And it was like a robot voice. Yeah. Like Stephen Hawking. And Rest in power. <laughs> I was gonna say rest in peace, but I like rest in power more. Uh, I like it too. Anyway, so we're in a we're in an elevator and it's really quiet and there's a bunch of people and I look at my brother and he's just shaking his head and I type on my phone and I click send and it goes, Oh farts. <laughs> My brother was so mad at me. Oh, God. I said so many inappropriate things with that little robot voice. That's the only thing I would do with that. Oh, yeah. I want to download it now. <laughs> just do that. Oh, it's the... it's the. It didn't cost anything. I was going to say a good purchase, but it's yeah. just a good download. I mean, being silent is definitely really hard. I've, I've never tried to, like, do it around people. I know that... When I briefly went to college after I dropped out, um, (laughs) my psychology class had this thing and it was like 101. So this was pretty deep, I think, where they, he wanted us, the professor or whatever, wanted us to spend a day alone, um, like in our place of living somehow. I don't know what he expected of us, but he wanted us to be completely alone for a whole day. Did you do it? I think I was went like twelve hours, which I think is how I normally spend my day, anyways. Yeah. Like, um, besides sleeping, if I don't have to do anything, sure, I'll be alone. Whatever, mm-hmm. no big deal. But then he also wanted us not just alone. Like I should have like mentioned this part, but like no phone, no computer, Ooh. no Facebook, like no social apps, nothing. Which at the time there weren't too many. Like not like Facebook now. was huge. Yeah, not like now. I don't. I had a smartphone, but I don't know what I even had on it. And I can't remember either. I don't. I, I don't definitely know. did not have it was apps like, like I do now. Two thousand nine. Like, I think I had the first iPhone. Maybe not. I, no, I definitely had an Android. It was dumb. But I had, anyways, 
Yeah. Uh, couldn't do it. Um, not for 12 hours, at least. Like, maybe four. <laughs> That's so, hard. Even yeah. now, I still oh, always have my phone. Hard. Yeah. Especially, like, with podcasts and music and stuff. Like, I, it's one thing I want to try doing is, like, having more just time to breathe. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I'm bad about always having something on in the background. Me too. Not TV, like, I'm, I'm, I, I have Netflix. As soon as I wake up, I turn something on. Same. Like... Facebook, not Facebook, or like YouTube or podcast usually is it. Sometimes it's music, but not really. And like, yeah, maybe someday I won't, but I'll make an effort to not, I think. And that's why, like, I tried meditating for 10 minutes. So the Insight Timer was suggested to me from the My Favorite Murder podcast because Karen Kilgariff talked about it. And she said that it can help you tap into the Akashic Record, which is the record of everything that's ever happened in history. And, okay, first of all, this is coming from Karen Kugara, who is a huge skeptic, just the way I am. And she she doesn't believe in this, but it's something that they talk about on Ancient Aliens that is part of the reason why we have, like, multiple discoveries at the same time. Uh, what is that called? I forget. No idea. So, like, the, like, the guy that invented the phone... Alexander Krempel. <laughs> he submitted a co- uh, not a copy, uh, a thing, patent patent for the phone that he wanted to invent on the same day as someone else in another country. I think the UK. That's so weird. Yeah, and like, so like people were coming up with the same things around the same time, and it's a theory is that it's because we were accessing the Akashic record which is something aliens helped us do. That goes too deep into it. But I was just meditating. <laughs> Not to access... Chris is like, I also invented something, you guys. I'm about to blow your minds. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, Meditation's cool. a good start, though. <laughs> yeah. It made me just focus on relaxing, which is really hard to do. Especially, like, just disconnecting. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Anyways, should we talk about our, or get started with our topic? I think we should. What's our topic this week? Well, I can't stop looking at them. It's a bunch of stones. We're talking about crystals. Woo! And, uh, like, so, there's literally some in front of me right now that I have not taken my eyes off of, because I just think crystals are really beautiful, like, in general. Yeah, I, so I have a little crystal collection, and I grabbed a bunch so we could kind of see what calls to us today, and... I'm not good with all the names, but I like to look them up, and mm-hmm. they're so, just fun. We looked up a few, because one of the ones you mentioned was One that amethyst. always calls to me, yes. Amethyst, I'm always attracted to. I always like to have a lot of it. It's the one I have the most of in my collection. <laughs> I got this really pretty raw piece. I'll post a picture on the Instagram, but I got this really pretty raw piece for my birthday, and... Funny story. It. Yeah. Um, Krista was like, <laughs> I can't Go ahead. Krista was like, can I taste it? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I don't know why. I was a little tired earlier. And I said, yeah, sure. And she slowly was putting up her mouth. And in my head, I was like, speak, speak, speak. And as soon as she like licked it, I was like, it might taste like smoke because it came from a guy who smokes. <laughs> it's just- <laughs> And she okay. was like, eh. <laughs> so I was looking at it. I was holding it in my hand. It looks like rock I, candy. I think that's yes, why you did Yes, that's that. why I was like, I want to lick it. And like. It does look I, delicious. I slowly put it up to my tongue and I just barely touched it. I barely did. There was not a lot, you know. I yeah, she go, wasn't like sucking on the rock. I didn't full rock. on make out with an amethyst as much as I would love to. Her tongue touched it. <laughs> and then she, Alex is looking at me and goes, it might taste like smoke. And then in my head, I'm thinking, oh, maybe she saged it or something. And then she says, because it, some, someone, <laughs> it came from someone that smoked. And then I was like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyways. Let's see, that's how drawn I am to amethyst. I just want to eat it, which is probably bad for it's you. It's such a pretty stone. <laughs> it's purple. And something, or what did we write down for amethyst? Amethyst is mm. good for... Mm. I'll read this to you folks. It says, it's a precious stone and it's for the crown chakra, if you believe in chakras, which I do. <laughs> it it calms, protects, and cleanses the spirit, which I think that's why I'm drawn to it because it, sometimes I get really anxious and it always calms me down. That's awesome. 
Um, what's the crown chakra? Do you happen to know? I imagine it's the one on your head, maybe? Yes. Okay. Neato. I'm bad with chakras. This We're going to so talk about chakras someday. Chakras, maybe that'll be an upcoming episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, what else do we got? You have the Labradorite. I love this stone, but I always mess up pronouncing I it. I want to say Labradorite. Lab- it makes me think of dogs, and of that course. makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's a really popular stone, though, with people that are interested in gems. It is... Your iPad is really not bright, and it's hard for <laughs> oh, my eyes to adjust. That's, that's I why I keep watching pausing. watching it in the middle of the night. Oh, now it's Oh, now very I can't bright. see. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> Labradorite. Nope. Still said Labradorite. Dorite? Labradorite. I don't know why I have such a tongue twister time with this, but... It's okay. They're it, never easy. It's like it's really pretty and like kind of greenish, yellow, blue, and you turn, twist it, and turn it, and it changes colors on you, and it's so pretty. Mm-hmm. Um, something good, or it's good for. Okay, I'm just gonna read okay. this. Cause... It's okay. Um, I remember what I said because it kind of made me interested in that you have one because what you were reading about it is that if you ended up having one in your collection, it's a sign that you need yes. to have a spiritual facelift. If you're drawn to it, yeah. you need a spiritual facelift. Which is the way that you look for, or the way that you're supposed to look for crystals is that you grab what... What calls to you. Yes, what calls to you. So maybe in the case when this one calls to, called to you, it was meant to lead you down a spiritual rabbit hole, in quotations, and... It was opening up the the way for you to um, revisit your spiritual connections. It also helps way. channel your past lives. Yeah. Another episode oh we should do. We just she just told me this crazy story should about. I tell now? No, I think we should save it for past lives because Stay we're totally tuned. gonna talk about that. Yeah. Past uh, lives, I think, are true. I like I like this theory. I mean, I don't, but I like How to think about dare you. Just <laughs> I will entertain the theories and the thoughts of having pl- past lives or whatever, but I mean, ultimately, I think I'm the first person that's ever lived in this body. And, <laughs> and this meat my, wagon. No, my soul <laughs> is just my brain. But, you know, I'm the less fun one. So, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love the different <laughs> ideas yeah. on this. Uh, which... You know, I'll get into because I have stuff to say about crystals too. But in any case, um, I like this Labradorite. I think it's beautiful. I was holding it up to your uh, lamp because it's clear, sort of. And kind of, it's, it's a weird stone because it keeps changing every, yes. every way you look at it. There's a way you can see through it, but there's also like lots I don't think of it's veins. See-through. Hold up to the light. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's see through. <laughs> It is. Like, Mind blown. I know. And it's very pretty. And it's in the shape of a teardrop. So. Wow. That's um, really cool. Yeah. Um, this called to me at a gem show I just went to. And it's in a pretty teardrop shape. Again, we're going to post pictures on the Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it called to me. So maybe I need a spiritual facelift. Maybe you do. Maybe. Oh, maybe uh, crud. No. Maybe that's why you had your past life thing happen to you. True. Yeah. Maybe it helps. Um, your calcite. Calcite. Is, is another, I have one of these. And, um, when I went to the gem shop in, um, where did I go in Oregon? <laughs> Sorry. No, I want to say Monmouth because that's mm. where Ryan's grandma lives. No, it's, but it's, it's close. Corvallis. Yeah, I went to Corvallis. Yeah. And, uh, the awesome gem shop that we talked about on the last podcast. Um, I grabbed a calcinite. Cause just because I thought it was really, really beautiful. I called beautiful. to Krista. Yeah. And we found out that it symbolizes cleansings. Uh, it symbolizes cleansing and... You, you find, find it, it when you need a change. Yeah. Which totally. And I'm ready for change, baby. And it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. I have a huge piece, too. It's maybe like four inches long. I, they called it a calcite wand. Just because of the shape it was. Oh, we, t- we posted a picture on Instagram. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty long. Um, Love it. So, like, it's all white. It's kind of smoky looking. Uh, It's pretty. We'll also post a picture of this. All of them. But we also are... Smoky quartz also called to you. Yeah. What is smoky quartz? It's excellent for soothing pain, emotional, and physical pain. 
and it's excellent for grounding and balance, which I thought was cool. Because I got two stones that I just wanted. Like, I looked at them and I was like, yes, you're coming home with me. <laughs> I need and, these. <laughs> and it was one for change and one for grounding. And they sit next to each other on my desk and they look really beautiful and they make me happy, which I think brings to my total outlook uh, opinion on mm-hmm. stones. Yeah. Uh, do you have like an, like an opinion on them or do you like, what are your most innermost thoughts about your crystals? Like usually I'm the more, I don't know how to explain this hippie of You're us. A hippie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I took, uh, for a long time I was like, whatever, these are rocks. And maybe like a couple years ago I was like, whoa, these are so powerful. But I go back and forth. Sometimes I'm like, this is just pretty shit. But mm-hmm. I want to believe that there's healing benefits and, like, our ancient, like, people? Like, I want to say siblings, but that's not right. Um, Family? Yeah, our ancestors. Yeah. There's, sure. Ancestors. Our really, really old siblings. It's really late, so don't judge me, (laughs) podcast listeners. I said ancestors. And I am super wide awake, so (laughs) this is really hard for Alex. I'm dragging her through this right now. I'm so sorry. (laughs) Don't judge me. Um, No. I want to believe that they used stones and stuff for healing and... I don't know, whatever mm-hmm. they're good for. Mm-hmm. Do you think but that- part of me does think it's kind of a placebo, like, oh, this is what this is good for? I'm going to hold on to this. Right. And do you think that they... Because one of the ways um, it was described to me on this really good video called Crystal Healing Altered States uh-huh. uh, from Super Deluxe, which is just a really fun YouTube channel. You should check out the video. It said that when you have a field, like an aura, Mm -hmm. and the crystal, when it enters your field, alters the waves of your aura. That makes sense to me. Okay, sure. So. (laughs) You're like, yeah, whatever. There's a whole bunch of levels to this, but like, um, so that's what people generally talk about when they, you know, talk about crystal healing is that they're altering your aura and channeling energy through your chakras, which is a whole nother thing but um where is it going with this uh i like the super deluxe video and you should watch it because there obviously isn't anything scientific about it but it shows really well the effects crystal healing has on just a regular person so like me for example if i'm like holding a crystal or like feeling it and touching it it's a like a (laughs) A tactical thing for me. Like, yeah. It feels good. They're cool. Like, as into the touch, they're not, like, warm. They're beautiful. They're, they're really pretty. And it gives you, like, a physical thing to focus on, you know, mentally. And create and your body, a physical yes. response. Yes. So, it's like a totem. At least for That's me. a good, yeah. Yeah. So, when I think about how I have my calcite and my smoky quartz, like, on my desk I'm like looking at them and I'm like yeah I am ready for change I'm always ready for it and I can be grounded because I have these things they're to just remind good reminders me to be that yeah yeah so um I get that yeah something else they say in the video is if they're making people feel good who cares if they're real or not and she's talking about real as in do they really alter you like your cells and your body like physically and I think that they do and not in the way that you would assume that medicine does or something but like that you have mind over power of mind <laughs> what is that mind over matter mind over matter I, like it sounded wrong when i was saying it but i think that's right people forget the strong power they have over their body <laughs> bless you thank you i sneezed <laughs> and like you're, you have a huge imp- Your mental state has the probably one of the biggest impacts on your body. Besides how I much totally water believe you drink. that. Like your mind yeah. can make things happen. Oh, for sure. And you need to drink water. Like <laughs> yeah, water's always good. Mm-hmm. 
Do crystals really heal you? The Good Mythical Morning episode, season 11, episode 10. I wrote it down. It's a funny video. Tests as scientifically as possible in that they're like being pinched with uh, <laughs> with clothespins and they hold a crystal and they're like trying to forget about the pain, trying to forget about the pain, and they forget about the pain. Because they're focusing on not, on, you know, forgetting their mind about the again. pain. Yeah, their your mind over matter. It's very, very powerful. So I have one more thing to say and then we can do the test that we talked about. Yes. Okay. And I think, I don't know, we haven't talked about who's going to test who. We can test each other. But crystals remind me about one of my favorite things that I remind myself, which is trust God but lock your car. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Um, I can't remember who told me that. I don't know. You can have faith in anything you want. And it might make you feel better, but you still have to do the pragmatic things to take you care of yourself. You have to be street smart also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> that is what that's talking about, like having street smart. But also it's talking about you still have to take care of yourself. Like yes. It doesn't matter how much faith you have in anything. If you're not actively, you know, taking medicine, if you really need it. Yeah. You need. I get you what you're well. saying. Yeah. And that's where crystal healing can cause can be a really damaging thing is when people rely on it. And, Heal me, rocks. <laughs> yeah. Which you know people do. Like, Oh, they, for sure. There's people out there that are like, I don't need to go to the doctor. Mm-hmm. I got rocks. I got my crystals. I mean, that's probably not a direct quote. I don't think anyone said that. They might say that. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> um, do you want to do our test? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to okay. put all the rocks below our speaker here. And okay. Krista is going to pick one. It's that is phone. Okay. Dang Continue. it. <laughs> I'm tired. Don't judge. I know. She's no. so sleepy and she's still up podcasting with me because we were like, we have to do it. The listeners need this. And no. I can't do it tomorrow. And I don't know what you're doing, but. I'm teaching uh, a cupping class. Oh, that's right. Did you talk about that? I don't think so. Okay. Guess what? I'm teaching a cupping class, everybody. <laughs> What's cupping? Cupping therapy is a type of massage therapy. It's an ancient art. Whoa. And it's been around for years. What, Many. Does it, what does it do? It uses negative pressure to... I'm tired. I don't want to explain this right now. I'm teaching a class It tomorrow. makes a vacuum in the cup. It uses negative pressure. It's like a deep tissue massage, but you're using cups. And it lifts the skin up into a like round plastic thing. It sucks the skin up, right? Yes. And the muscles. And it like that's why... It's like good for cellulite because it breaks the connective tissue between the skin and the muscle. Yeah. I should teach this class. I mean, Chris is a <laughs> pro on it. I've talked about this so much. She knows everything. <laughs> um, sorry. I'm okay. not doing my class justice, but I don't want to think about that right now. Okay. I want you to pick a crystal. That's okay. what I want right now. Okay. Um, you're going to pick a crystal that's calling to you right now and tell me how it makes you feel. Okay. Which one of these? Below this the microphone. One. It's it's like a lump, and it's gray, which I like gray. That reminds <laughs> me of the song by the President of the United States of America. Lumps and <laughs> and Luggy Marsh. Uh, I'm not going to sing it for you guys, but... I'm going to ride out on that song. <laughs> We're going to add it. Um, this is... I, we, we don't know exactly what the I'm really is. bad with the name of the stones, but it's, it's one okay. of the pretty ones I've picked out before. They're all pretty. And it's like gray and white, and it makes me feel calm. Close your eyes and hold it for a second. What are you feeling? Still calm? Yeah. It's like... It's gray. The color is gray. And like gray your soul. always <laughs> makes me calm. <laughs> I just think it's it's like a neutral, like it's a peaceful place, and that's how it makes me feel. I love it. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. What about I'm going to look up what that stone is. And... Okay. We'll post our answers later, because maybe it's like, this one is supposed to make you angry. <laughs> like... I don't think any stones make you angry. <laughs> that's but... another th- yeah, that's another thing is like... There's... Most of these are calm. There's nothing bad about this. Like when we talked about tarot, like... There, it's never gonna tell you like, oh, you're gonna have a bad day. <laughs> like, oh, it's, it's always positive. Guess what's gonna happen next week? Just <laughs> kidding. Um, yes. So, what stone is calling to me? 
I've already looked at all these stones, but I keep playing with the Labradite. Oh, that's right. Even though I have tongue stumble upon saying it every time, but this one is really called to me tonight. Because I, okay, I actually bought this uh, like three weeks ago, and it's a tiny stone that I'm going to make a necklace out of, but I lost it for a while. It was in this little bag, mm-hmm. and I was like, I know it's somewhere in my house, but <gasps> we're doing this tonight. Yeah, and then it fell out of one of the bags when I was cleaning, and I was like, <gasps> We're going to talk about this today. It's this perfect. because it found you again. Yeah. My spiritual facelift again. Yeah. So, yeah, Labradite is And we know what me. that one is Yeah, for. that's an- that's another yeah. reason I looked it up before with my quick research. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm never friggin' prepared. But it's okay. But I love talking to you guys. <laughs> and Krista. I- well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Leave everyone else out. She doesn't like talking to me at all. She just likes... Talking to everyone that listens. Just any just kidding. Um, I like this yellow one. That's a smoky quartz. Oh well, see? I love smoky quartz. It just really calls to you. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. And it's got like little lines through it, and I know that it is meant for grounding. So ground me. <laughs> Keep me ground. Me. ground. Um I also like this weird triangle one because it's like a dice, but we don't know what this one is. It starts with an F, and if I look it up, I know I could find it, but that one called to me too when I bought it, and it's a good one. It's pretty. Is there any, any one of these that you don't like? This one I like, but it makes me laugh every time. Uh, it starts with a K, and when I got it, um, my daughter's grandma said, She's an older lady, and she's like, this looks like a broken dish. Why did you pay for this? Oh, wow. And it's a pretty stone, but it's just funny, because now every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, it's the broken dish stone. I wonder if that's something, like, maybe it's like... <laughs> Doesn't it look it's, like a broken dish now? I mean, it does. Like, it's like a piece of something that flaked off. Yes. And uh, it's because I've it's seen the stone, like, shined up and, like, look more pretty for necklaces and stuff. That is definitely a raw form. Mm-hmm. Um, I prefer the raw form. I do sometimes, but like, look at this labradite that I've been <laughs> obsessed very, with tonight. It's so smooth and it perfect. It is very pretty. Yeah, I wonder what it looks like in raw form. Probably just more boring. Grayish. Just kidding. Yeah, which I'm is kidding. cool. Um, I this also this is uh turquoise. Oh yeah. This called. I actually bought this with you. I don't know if you remember. It was at Art in the Park in. The Boat last race? time we went. Yeah. Cause, like, I think it's been like two years ago. Yeah. Art in um, the Park is all right. I like it, but mm-hmm. it was kind of an expensive stone, but for some reason it really called to me. And I have the other piece it's... in my car, and it's good for Pisces, I found out later oh, after hey, I bought it. And I was like, us. oh. Yeah. We're both Pisces. Yeah. I'm on the last day. Um, <laughs> the other, I was going to make earrings out of them because they were like similar shapes, and they have like a little hold so you can make earrings, and the other one broke in half, and I was really sad, so I didn't do anything with them for a long time, mm. but the broken one is half in my car, and it guides me through life, as cheesy as that sounds. I have things that I lose and then show back up every once in a while, too. Mm-hmm. I find it interesting, but oh. sometimes it's things I need, like chargers. Oh, I love when it's a charger. <laughs> I lose it. I hate. And then I'm like, guess I'm not using that thing ever again. <laughs> and then, Bye. And then I find my charger. <laughs> it's back. I always have either like five chargers or no chargers. <laughs> it's There's never a good, no, like. No in between. No. That used to be me with headphones. But then I got the most expensive <laughs> pair of headphones I've ever gotten. And if I lose them, I will cry. I'm not going to so. lose those bad boys. Mm-mm. So, what else have we got? I wanted to try one more thing, because I think it'd be cool. You usually have, like, an insightful uh voice. Intuition. Yeah, you have intuition. I want to have you close your eyes, and I'll put a stone in your hand, and I want you to tell me how it makes you feel. Okay. Okay. Hmm. You gotta talk into the microphone. Though. Sorry, I, I was trying to feel my emotions. I'm sorry to distract you. Please keep going. I'm bad at this because I think quietly. I'm bad at telling my feelings. When you can I'm... take for as long as you want. I just don't want there to be a, an awkward amount of silence on this podcast. This. They better be used to it by now. <laughs> <laughs> You've listened before, obviously, so you know us. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. The only thing in my head is pink. 
I'm not looking. My eyes are closed. Interesting. Oh, okay. Boy. It's purple. The same? Oh, this is more smoky quartz. You got a lot of smoky quartz there. I did. I did buy a lot of smoky co- <laughs> smoky quartz on this trip when I got these. Uh, I got them in Corvallis, nice. where you went. Same place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did it make you feel, though? I don't know how it made me feel. I just kept picturing pink, which is, I don't know. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. We don't have any rose quartz. The romance. Oh, I was stone. wearing rose quartz earrings today. Oh. So, um, here you go, friend. Here's some rose quartz. Hey! It's like on a little... Oh, it, it is an earring. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like this little mount that it's on. I do, too. It reminds me of my favorite video game, Oblivion. It's like a soul stone. Anyways. Uh. <laughs> Your turn. I'm going to pick a stone, and you're going to tell me how it makes you feel. Okay. <laughs> Are you putting it on my pants? No. <laughs> I would just... got it. Oh, I know which one it is. That's what I was trying to like. I didn't... <laughs> we've been looking at these stones this whole podcast and I didn't... I wanted to surprise her, but it's hard because they're very definitive shapes. Oh, yeah. They're all like... I could probably guess each one. Just Yours how threw me for a loop. The smoky quartz? It was kind of like... It's more like a pebble shape, I guess. So, this stone is triangle. It's like two triangles on top of each other. It's like a and d dice. I forget what those are called. Like, <laughs> the, I don't even play that, but I knew what you meant. Like, when I yeah. saw that, it reminds me of that dice. The die that have different, like, it's not like a normal dice. It's like <laughs> not a like ten-sided. A six-sided. Yeah, it's like a, maybe a ten-sided die. I don't think this, I think this might be, a, this is a nine-sided die. It's three on each side. It's not actually a die. Well, I know it's not, but it's a rock. Gotcha. Sorry. <laughs> it's, how does it make me feel, though? Um, adventurous. Ooh. Makes me want to throw it across the room. Please don't. <laughs> and just uh, run away. I'm not going to That gonna sounds terrible, that. Krista. <laughs> Why not? Why is that terrible? It makes me want to run away. In know. a good way. Oh, okay, good. Not in a bad way. Because it makes me think of D&D, which is like an adventure oh, game. I so like it. it makes me want to just drop everything and go on an adventure. Adventure time. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was fun. Yeah. I liked that exercise. That was good. I think more people should try it. And I think if, I don't know, most people are like crystals, like, like you think they're Ooh, magic. Like, what are you, a hippie? Like, no, they're not magical. And like... Also, you can get really nerdy about it. Like when Alex was talking about showing someone her rock collection. <laughs> it's always the nerdiest <laughs> thing I always say. I'm like, you want to like, see my rock collection? Yeah, because it is pretty nerdy. Like you can learn more about... You know, I wish I knew a geologist. That would They would be really fun to talk to. They would be. Yeah. Geologists? Do you know anybody? Or, I mean, you probably do. Do you know anyone that is a geologist? Tell us. Hit us up. We want to ask you about rocks. And then we'll tell you how they're supposed to make you feel. Um, but you should try it. Like, have, go to a gem shop and just look at the stones. and See what calls to you. See what, yeah. And if you're like, ooh, I don't even know how something calls to you. Like, because that's how I was. I was like, what? I'm, I'm just supposed to look at them and they're supposed to speak to me? Like, no. Like, think of it out of the biased state of mind that you're in because you are in one. And... Just grab whatever you like. Grab what you think. Is An cool. example, um, I was at this healing expo, so they had a they had gems, little gem shops and stuff. And I told my three year old daughter, I was like, Oh, which rock is calling to you? Or like which one do you like the most? And she like she really took into consideration. Like she looked at them and she was like she picked up two different rose quartz. They were both rose quartz, but they were different shapes and sizes. And she like kept going back and forth looking at each hand with the rock in him. And she was like, mm, this one. And she picked one and I let her buy it. And she carried, or she had the rock for a while. I don't know where it's at right now, but. <laughs> it'll show back up. It'll show back up. But it was cute watching her. That is cute. And her little intuitive, intuitive self. It's a good exercise also because we're really bad at making decisions. Like mm-hmm. if you're in a restaurant and you'd spend forever on the menu thinking about what you want to eat, like, I don't, I don't want to hang out with you. Like, <laughs> you gotta go. I, I need you to make a decision. <laughs> And that's what it like another thing. And when you're in a gem shop and you're like, oh, I don't know whichever one. Oh, they're all so cool. Or like, oh, I don't like any of them. Just pick one. 
pick one. Trust me, it'll be fun. Um, you should try it. I might say something, yeah. And it might be something like some actual advice that you might need that you didn't know you needed. So you can keep it as a reminder. Or you can make up your own advice. Doesn't matter. Or you can just have a pretty rock. Yeah. <laughs> or you can hold your papers down on your they desk. They make pretty necklaces too. Or oh. jewelry. Yeah, definitely. Even if you don't believe if they have healing powers. They're just gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Got any wrapping up thoughts here for crystals? Anything um, else you want to say? I want to believe that the heal and, like, ground you and that it might be in your head, which I'm okay with. I think that it is in your head, mm-hmm. but I think that's where it's the most important. Your head does a lot of stuff. Yeah. Which is why you should also try meditating. I need to do that more. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try... Ten minutes was too long. I think I'm just going to do five minutes, like, before I go to sleep. Slowly work your way to ten. Yeah. And then, Smart. who knows, maybe I'll go to those retreats where I don't talk to anybody for days. That would be amazing. I would be like, go, Krista. <laughs> I would be, I don't know. That's a You're different like, person. Uh, I don't want to, never mind, I'm not going to do it. I want to go on a retreat where I get drunk and go on water slides. <laughs> yes, that sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming, Alex. You are here and still awake, which I truly appreciate. Thanks for hanging Woo-hoo. out with me this late. Sometime we'll have to do it. During the day when I am super groggy. No, we should pick a good medium so we're both oh, like that's right. awake for our listeners. Never mind. <laughs> You're right. We should do that instead. But maybe we can do one so it's like payback. No, I'm kidding. This has been fun. Yeah. I always love doing the podcast. Yeah. Um. Have a good... Oh, uh, okay. One more thing. Goals. Goals. Um. I have to teach a cupping class tomorrow and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rock it. Yeah, Even you though are. I'm kind of tired right now. I feel bad because I gave a horrible description about cupping therapy, but next podcast I will tell you guys all about how the class went and maybe I'll give you some better info on the class. Yes. Um, but don't judge me for my tiredness right now. They don't. Um, so I'm just going to be better at explaining myself the next two weeks. Maybe I'll work on meditation. I liked that. Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay. So same, same Z's. Um, <laughs> meditate, keep working out. Um, doing pretty good. Good job. Thanks. Uh, meal prepping, doing that a lot too, and keeping myself just focused on being a better person, which I always try to do. So good goals, yeah. It's Keep... been real podcast. Oh, it's been super real. Go find some rocks you like. Tell us about them. Yeah. Tell us about them. Tweet us. Tweet us. Um, no one tweets us. Actually, you know, I think our best. Uh. I was going to say customer, but listener connections <laughs> come with um, Instagram, probably. So Instagram's been my favorite, but I'm also really bad at Twitter. So yeah, tweet us. Doesn't matter Gram what us. you do. Not even sure if that's how you say that. Comment us. Grandma's is great. Comment on us on Facebook. Like our Facebook. Email us at thesensecast at gmail.com. Love us. Love us. <laughs> Just, we, all I want is your love. I don't care who you are. Just listen and love us. <laughs> okay. We better go. It's time to go. Okay, bye. Bye, podcast.